Through the valiant efforts of the Imperial and Volunteer Forces, Zhang Xiao, founder of the Way of Peace, is defeated. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is ended. But the longed-for peace did not return. At the capital of Luoyang, the eunuchs faced off against the faction made up of the relatives of the Emperor. Using this as an excuse, Yuan Chao and others raid the Imperial Palace, killing the eunuchs. Under cover of this confusion, Dong Zhuo of Xilian leads his forces to the capital. He seizes control of the Emperor, appoints himself Prime Minister, and proceeds to take control and to tyrannize the country. The Lords soon began to feel themselves in danger. Say that to me. Wait, hold on. Who is this? This is my son in law, Looper. No one can stand against him in battle. That also includes you. Remember what I said, Donjuo. Your debauchery will no longer be tolerated. I think I could find a use for him. If I can lure him to my side and get rid of Ding Yu Wen, there will be no one that can stop me. I must show Lu Bu just how generous I am to convince him to join my side. <laughs> no doubt if I send him treasures, wine, and women, he will have his head turned. Isn't that right, Tiao Chan? I wonder. You are not the first to try to gain Lord Lu Bu's loyalty. Many others have sent him expensive gifts. But, Lord Lu Bu's heart has never been moved. That which impresses the ordinary man will not be enough to move Lord Lu Bu. You must find a gift that truly resonates within his soul. Mm. You may be right. Tell me, Li Ru. Who knows him well? My lord. I believe Li Su is fairly well acquainted with Lu Bu. Mm, as much as I would rather be doing other things, perhaps I should meet with him. A man like Lu Bu 
is wasted on a mouthy fool like Ding Red. I need to talk to Lee Soo and find a way of luring Lu Bu to my side. You want information on Lu Bu? Well, uh, he was muttering about wanting a horse. Excellent horses from the Liang province gather in Chang'an, or so I hear. Now, take defensive positions! We're under attack from bandits! Please, save us! You, stay out of it! His finest horses now belong to me! You all oppose me! Damn it! If only you hadn't gotten involved! You have saved us all! Oh, do you want a fine horse, perhaps? I've got the greatest horse ever bred here. Red hair, the fastest in the land. What? You want him as a reward for saving me? Uh, uh, of course, no problem. Master Lubu is currently out on patrol. I believe I may know where he is headed. What do you want? Don't be so brusque. <laughs> I have something I want to show you. A fine steed. This is the famed horse, Red Hair. Said to gallop a thousand li in a single day. Imagine what could be achieved by a warrior Riding this mountain battle! Ha! Huh. So you summoned me here to boast about your horse. I am not so petty as that. No, I wish to give you this horse. In return, that is, for pledging your allegiance to me. Why should I serve you? I have heard all about you, Lubu. Some say. You're an unparalleled warrior. Others say you're a demon. If you're truly so mighty, why are you wasting your time in the service of Ding Yuen? He'll never give you the chance to prove what you're capable of. 
And you're saying that you could do that? I have a grand ambition to seize control of this land and build a new kingdom of wine, women, and song. Naturally, this has earned me a lot of enemies. I believe that fighting for me would be more entertaining than staying in the service of Ding Yu Wen. Hmm. It had better be. <laughs> Perfect! Ding Yu Wen is as good as dead! Ding Yuan, you were a fool to oppose me, now that I have the Emperor under my control. Lu Bu, I want you to go to Ding Yuan at once and eliminate him. Show me what you're capable of. I do not like your attitude, but I will let it slide this time. After all, I want to end this pathetic squabble for good. You're the one with the bad attitude. Go with him, Diao Chan. He's strong, no doubt. But you've seen what he's like. He could just as easily change his mind and defect to Deng Yuan. I understand, my lord. It is time to show the world what happens when you get in my way. Dang you in, and all those idiots will soon realize what it means to raise their blades against me. Hmm. Ding Yuan is a mere insect. I will crush him under my boot. Chan, what are you doing here? Return to the castle and wait for me there. No. I would like to accompany you, my lord. I wish to see your legendary might for myself. You think you can fight me? Out of my way. We have to fight Lord Lubu? We can't! That's impossible! We're finished! You Don Juan. How dare you toy with Lubu like this? What poisons did you pour in his ear? How would it help you to know that now your life is about to end right here? Moment. We must protect this area from the enemy. 
control. The only pocket of resistance against my rule now is led by Yuan Chao. With Ding Yuan gone, he's sure to be panicking. <laughs> His time will come. But first, it's time to celebrate. And since my dominion over the land is near, we need to do this in style. Come closer, Diao Chan. I would like you to dance for me tonight. A dance, celebrating my triumph. Understand? Of course, my lord. <laughs> you lovely little thing. Lubu, you have performed well. You may join me and enjoy yourself here tonight. Hmm, I have no interest in such things. If I can fight, that is all I need. He's kind of boring, isn't he? Never mind. It's time to let our hair down. Wine, women, and song! Father, there's some peon who doesn't know his place who says he wants to meet with you. Really? And who is this fool with ideas above his station? He said his name was Cao Cao. He also said he had a gift for you. It's so obvious. He just wants to curry favor with you, Grandfather. Hmm. If I recall correctly, he was an old friend of Yuan Shao's. The fact that he's shown up with the gift now that I've seized control of the Emperor. It means one of two things. Either he intends to betray Yuan Shao and join me, or he intends to kill me. Grandfather. Don't you worry, Princess. I have my guard dog by my side. I believe I will meet with him and see what he wants. You really are a fool to try and have me killed. Who put you up to this? No one did. This was my own decision. I may have failed in my attempt, but the fate that awaits you is unchanged. 
A land ruled by fear and driven by disgusting greed is inevitably destined to end in ruin. <laughs> so you're a soothsayer now, are you? If I were you, I'd be more worried about trying to stay alive than predicting my future. Oh, I fully intend to stay alive. That cheating coward! How dare he? He had men hidden inside the castle. Don't let Cao Cao escape from Luoyang. He shall pay with his head for the crime of pointing his blade against me. tries to kill me, and lives to tell the tale. Catch that fool, Zhao Zhao, and make him pay the price. You better... We are not about to let you harm Zhao Zhao. I will protect him even if it costs me my life. It looks like they are in need of our help along the front lines. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! I pray that you may escape to safety. Approach any situation without a proper plan in place. Archers, drown my pursuers in a sea of arrows. Unit, help me shake off this pursuit. This is no time to hold back. Launch the ambush and put a stop to Dong Shuo's army. Now is the time to attack! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! I am truly impressed by your skill. Let's go! 
Now is the time to attack! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! It looks like this is the end. This mistake has cost me everything. Imbecile! You really thought you could get away from me? You were about to learn the true meaning of pain! Uh, these guys are tougher than I thought. Forgive me, my lord. I hope you're able to escape to safety. How could you let him get away? What were you doing? I have no interest in pursuing a fleeing rat. Disrespectful wretch. It's fine. It's fine. He's just one man. He cannot threaten my rule. No one shall stand in the way of my dream of a land of debauchery and hedonism. What? Yuan Chao is leading a coalition army to Luo Young? Yes, my lord. They are said to have been united by a missive sent by Yuan Chao calling for your assassination. They are significant in number. Yuan Shu, Cao Cao, Sun Jian, Zhong Miao, Bao Xin, the coalition forces will not lack for troops. Hmm. Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? How dare they have the temerity to stand against me? Any who oppose me will be slaughtered forthwith. The enemy commander, Yuan Chao, is nothing but an empty-headed fool. Rip him to pieces! forces are a ragtag bunch with no real unity. Come, Grandfather. Let's put them to the sword. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Welcome, welcome! Do please come again!
You will not make it to Lu Yang by getting past me. My sworn brothers are fighting bravely on the front lines. I must join you and add my strength to theirs. <laughs> this is a strategic position for this battle. We must defend it without fail. <laughs> Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. <laughs> I have no choice but to retreat. That's my grandfather. I still have so much to learn from you. We're going to secure the area. Let's go. Yes, that's the spirit. Press the attack. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. They're capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. Kill them all! Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. Kill them all! I seek a greater future. Though you may mock it, for the sake of that future, I will flee. <laughs> Lu Yang is safe now. I will head for Su Shui. Getting through Su Shui Gate as long as I stand. Victory's mine! <laughs> hmm. It seems we are having trouble with the assault on Su Shui Gate. Prepare the rams. I shall head there myself. does not stand a chance against our might. Die! 
capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. No good. Somehow I've fallen before the Sushui Gate has. Let's go. The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. Kill them all! That's my grandfather. I still have so much to learn from you. <laughs> Go for now. Don't think you've won. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Grandfather, you are most worthy of being a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! <laughs> uh, I have been beaten. Which won't. I will avenge this loss the next time we meet in battle. <laughs> Sushuite Gate, damn and blast! I should have stopped the battering rams first. So you would face me in battle, would you? Very well. This gate is sturdier than I expected. Forgive me, Zhao Zhao. I must fall back for now. <laughs> you men of Zhao Zhao are pitiful! Su Shui Gate is impenetrable as long as I stand. Victory's <laughs> mine! <laughs> The siege of Sushui Gate is not proceeding very well. Zhu Xiao, gather up your men and hurry there at once! 